Can you hear us, Mickey? Yeah, I hear you all. Okay, good. good. <laughs> okay, good. Uh, in case of, uh, I can do some translations. If uh, you want to go ahead, either uh, Carlos or Cesar, and then uh, I can do translations if needed. I'd like to start uh, asking him about his uh, history. How did you, how did him uh, started in the what you make world? As he comes from a country that has no tradition in what you make He's from Bosnia, okay? Okay. Ich habe die Frage verstanden, er möchte mal die Geschichte hören von mir, oder? Okay, ja. Yes. Ich habe sie gehört. Ich habe in Jahren in Abschluss habe Sozialwissenschaft studiert und kam in die Schweiz, um eine Gitarre zu verdienen, weil ich ein passionierter Gitarrist bin. Uh, wann wollen Sie übersetzen? Sagen Sie mir, geben Sie mir ein Zeichen oder wie? Okay, uh, he studied in his native country a social business and so nothing to do with that. And then at some point he came into Switzerland in order to work to purchase a guitar because he loves to play guitars. Okay. Ja, und uh, da bin ich auch in der Schweiz geblieben und habe meine Pocket wieder dort gekommen. So, es hat geheißen, dass ich in der Schweiz bleibe. Und da habe ich auf diverse Seiten getan, weil, wenn man so viel bekommt, dann arbeite ich jetzt arbeiten da. Das klappt. Ja, und dann habe ich gesagt, dass ich in der Schweiz geblieben bin, weil ich hier gewünscht habe und diverse verschiedene Arbeiten getan habe. Mit Uhrmacherei hatte ich immer noch gar nichts zu tun. Okay, was für Arbeiten denn? Oh, zum Beispiel auch eine Tankstelle, habe ich als Tankwart. Ich habe Fenster geputzt bei Babyspätern. Ich habe als Schreiner gearbeitet. Ich habe als Nachtwächter gearbeitet. Ich habe im Spital drei Jahre gearbeitet, habe meine Frau dort kennengelernt. Okay, yeah. good to hear that. Also when he came to Switzerland, he was not uh, initially doing anything in the watch industry. So he worked in a large variety of things. He worked at a uh, gas station. He worked as a uh, wood specialist. He worked as a night shift guy, like security. He worked in a hospital, the hospital actually where he met his wife. So that all led to the fact that then after all, he stayed in Switzerland and created a family. Super Voraussetzung für den Uhrmacher. Uh, as, as he says, it's an excellent preparation to be watchmaker, obviously. Also, wir schießen auf der schwarze Uhr, auf der dicke Uhr. Entschuldigung. Ja. Uh, wie ich zu Uhren gekommen bin. Now he, how we came to watch us. Das war eine Frage, ja. oder? Ja. Ich habe mich hier in meinem Leben, dass ich gerade ich bin 1990 äh, freischaffend mhm. ohne, ohne zu wissen eigentlich was genau, aber äh, ich habe angefangen mit äh, Restaurierungen von äh, Antiquitäten mhm. und äh, so habe ich sechs Jahre gearbeitet, bis ich äh, im 96 auf Abrag eine chinesische Maschine gebaut habe. So basically, when he started in the in the in the watch or workshop, he started with the kinetic uh, pieces. You know, all the pieces moving and everything, and that's when he started in about '94. And then he just counted from '96 to 2000. He did about 80, 80 of those uh, objects. Um, yeah. I have a Go question. Ahead. Yeah, he has. He's at his workshop, right? Uh, is it possible that he show us some of uh, his work? I mean, some piece that he has there? Yeah. Okay, he just moves around with the camera a little bit. Mm -hmm. Because there are plenty of pieces. I've been there just recently. 
There are plenty mm -hmm. of pieces, half finished, working on it, because obviously he doesn't work on one single piece all time. He mm -hmm. has so many ideas, so he works on this one, then he goes on the other one. He needs to wait from some, some supplier, uh, some finishing, gold plating, and so on. And then uh, in the meantime, he works on other pieces. There will mm -hmm. be, by the way, in about a week or so, there will be a presentation of a new piece which we will talk about uh, in about one week, you will get the mail. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so the first pieces he will show are kinetic pieces. Mm -hmm. If the video actually catches up, let's see. Let's see. Okay. He's going there to get it, yeah. So he started uh, the workshop in 1994, okay? Yes. Okay. And before and where, his own workshop. Sorry, I didn't get that. Did he start in another company before establishing? No, no, no it's uh, himself. He's really an autodidact in the sense that okay. he, he wasn't at all in that field. He didn't have a so called typical uh, education or training. Uh, right. So it's really, which is most astonishing because most likely. The most people, they go to another famous watchmaker, they go to some yeah. other people, but he basically just says, well, let's try it, why not? He has a lot of books I saw in the in his atelier also, where he sees other, he, he reads up on other stuff and says, oh, that wasn't done yet, maybe I can find a solution. So very often in the things he actually does, there are things which never have been done before. Because yeah. the guy is just curious, he, he wants to, to do things and some of the pieces while we wait that he moves his camera some mm -hmm. of the pieces he does simply because he likes to do them so there's no specific order or a specific thing uh, some of them they are customized for a customer uh, okay yeah uh, and uh, where is he based in switzerland which city it's in zurich actually Oh, Zurich, okay. Yeah, okay. Which, which again is not very logical. It's not in the uh, Alps of Switzerland. It's not in Geneva. It's in, uh, cool. in a different area. Herr Retter, wir haben noch nichts. Wir haben aber keine Sachen gesehen, weil das Bild hat sich nicht geändert. Nur, nur überhaupt nichts. Nur jetzt diese, das Fenster hinten. Nein. Der hat ja mit dem iPad mit oben tragen. Das ist trying to get the, the pictures. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he's playing with the phone, whereas he should work with the iPad. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. That's a kind of a different thing than when you have a Bulgari press conference, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's somewhat yeah. more authentic. Yes, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> what That's he says is it's much easier to create watches and clocks than getting those things. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's see. Well, afterwards, what I can do is I can send you a few videos and a few pictures. Yeah. Can you switch the image for getting the big one on that instead of yours? Because I'm seeing you. And oh. on, on the big screen to put uh, Mickey on the big screen? Let me, wait, uh, but you should be able to do that. Let me just, uh, I make you host. Uh, do you want to change? Yes. So, uh, Carlos, you can do what you want. You're the host now. Let me see. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I can see better now the images that he's showing. Yeah. On this one, I have a video also, which I will send you afterwards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, wow. So is it, his workshop is also like a museum with all these pieces also. A gallery. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. he confirms. <laughs> yes, yes. Right, and, and, and what he says is he almost makes part of the museum also. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Wow. 
got a lot of pieces there because, as you said, some they are not finished yet, some they are finished, but uh, what he did not do so far much is public awareness. Mm -hmm. And without okay, public yeah. awareness, you don't have so many customers because his distribution is not necessarily through the typical retailers. Mm -hmm. In the past, yeah. he went to like Parcel World. Some people come, they buy, and that's the story. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's that's a very nice uh, tour. A very uh, a nice tour. Yeah, I can see him there. Well, and uh, so Kurt, you said that he does custom pieces, and he also does pieces had his his, his, his design, his own design. And in addition to custom pieces. Can you ask him if he has any customers in Latin America or perhaps Brazil, Mexico, or, you know, I'm curious to know about the, you know, the customers also. Your area. Uh, Herr Lettler, die Frage war, haben Sie von Ihren Kunden in der Vergangenheit Kunden aus seinem Bereich, das heißt Lateinamerika oder Mexiko oder in der Ecke? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Uh, in the past, he had, or during Basel World, in the old time when Basel World still was existent, it was like mm -hmm. when we were young, remember, <laughs> when there mm -hmm. was the possibility to travel and everything. Yeah. At that time, he had uh, several visitors from mainly from Mexico, the retailers, because mm -hmm. he also in the past at some point he made a wristwatch, the time burner, which you see on the website or which uh, I can send you some stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, those pieces he sold to Mexican customers, to retailers, but now for the larger pieces, the actual clock pieces, they there's an interest, but there's no sales per se right now in this uh, geographical area. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, so he, he does uh, custom pieces. If a customer from Brazil or from Mexico asks about some specific project, he will, you know, study or analyze it, right? Absolut, let me just, er fragt jetzt, ob er generell was machen würden, wenn Leute aus Mexiko kommen würden, dann sage ich ihm die Antwort, dass sie das sehr gerne machen, schon aus der Kulturgeschichte raus. Ist, passt das ja, so? Das ist immer eine Herausforderung, ja, ja. Das ist okay. schön. Ja. Weil, äh, da, he, he would be absolutely thrilled to do that, because he loves the, well, first of all, he loves the culture, so everything which has to do, like with the Mayan, Aztec and so on. Uh, because in his opinion, they had a very, a, a very advanced culture already. So to integrate that in a piece, in a uh, astronomical piece or in a cultural piece, yes, he would love to. As a general rule, anybody who comes to him can either say, well, I like the piece you have in the left and the right there. Or he can say, well, could you do me something special? Whether you are interested in... Uh, planets, whether you are interested in some movements, uh, it's really anything. I think, uh, I think uh, Bolognocte is the, uh, a beautiful example for mm -hmm. that. You remember Inspired that, please? By, by a creature. Yeah. Please. Uh, diese Umsetzung ist immer interessant, man lernt sehr viel mm -hmm. uh, von der anderen Kultur und da setzt man es um, das ist fantastisch. Für mich auf jeden Fall. Also he is very happy if he can learn from another culture and model it with his artistic way. It's like yeah. the piece uh, you talked about in the last uh, issue, which I just saw on the website, where you talk about, you know, the landing of the, spa the spaceship and everything. Yeah, dabei lerne ich sehr viel. Ich setze mich mit der Kultur auseinander und dann Umsetzung ist eigentlich uh, einfach. For, for him, it's very important to understand the culture, so the DNA of uh, where he comes from. So he goes through all the books, he goes through all the Wikipedia and everything, and then reads and understands it and interprets it in a way that it fits uh, his artistic understanding as well as the culture. Um, can you ask him, uh, 
record, please, if he has some example of his, you know, horological art, that could be interesting. Amazing, a, you know, like a, a kid, a child, as well as an adult, you know, something that might be this wider appeal. Yeah, uh, that's 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 Uh, reden Sie ein bisschen langsamer, weil es gibt einen immer einen Schal und da kann ich kaum verstehen. Okay, bitte. Die Frage war, ist es, äh, gibt es Stücke, die einerseits Erwachsene und auch Kinder begeistern? Die, die beste Antwort ist wahrscheinlich, die Erwachsene werden zu Kindern. <lacht> Yes, most likely the best answer is that the adults, they become children. When you see those pieces, it's basically, yeah. you, it, it's such a fascination. Das ist wirklich so. Uh, es ist jedes Mal, wenn sich die Leute mit meinen Objekten auseinandersetzen, betrachten, uh, es kommt immer dasselbe. Als ich klein war, hatten wir das und das und das. Man geht immer wieder zurück in die Vergangenheit, eigene Vergangenheit. Also das fasziniert natürlich. Right. He has uh, rather frequently visitors and some of the visitors are very uh, high-end, uh, so-called VIPs or government officials and everything. And very often they stand there and say, well, I remember when I was a child, there was things moving and, you know, the reference to the different things. And it's really something very astonishing. And I, I saw that I was once there when he had a very important customer from uh, the Middle East, a very distinguished person, you know, bodyguards and everything. And the guy just uh, was all having sparkles in his eyes. And so, wow, that's a beautiful thing. That's something which touches on one side the rational part of uh, the technology, which is very interesting, but on the other hand, it touches your emotion, something fascinating to watch. I see. Yeah. Uh, I ask also because when he was doing the tour, I saw some clock with a doll or something on top of that, and uh, I was wondering what was exactly that, I, I you know, Perhaps you can explain it to me or ask him to explain. Right. Herr yeah. Eletter, uh, auf der Tour, da hat er ein Stück gesehen, das war eine Puppe obendrauf. Ja. Was war denn das? Ja. Das war meine Tochter, als sie klein gewesen ist. Sie ist ja mit ihrer Puppe gelaufen, mit einer Ente. Sie wissen, dass es gibt so einen Stab und vorne eine Ente. Und da ja, kann man ja. es auf der Straße ziehen, ja. Und das ist ja für meine Tochter die Maschine. Als sie klein war, hat sie damit gespielt. Okay, that was a piece he created when his daughter was small. Because we, uh, she had at that time a, uh, a doll, but also a little duck, you know, which you pull behind you, which then the ducks moves and everything. So he created that at that time when his daughter was small. Möchte er das? Would you like? To see one Yes, time. please. Yes. Can you show us, please? Yes. <laughs> you are <the> children. <laughs> one moment, please. Okay. Okay. It, uh, that's exactly that. It, uh, things are fascinating. <coughs> and uh, it's it's a difference between the, the high-end watch, you know, with all the uh, techniques and the milliseconds mm -hmm. and the chronometer. All these pieces are perfectly fine in quality. But there is this little added thing which yeah. makes the people more dreaming about and i mean it's uh the, the piece which we're going to show in a week or so it's uh oh, is moving it let's see yeah one moment please okay okay so then when, when you okay. carry the ipad <laughs> okay wow let's see it <laughs> ah, okay, it's, uh, yeah, it's wo walking, walking, <laughs> on the top of that, yes. Hello, Mr. <laughs> uh, here and then you have birds, yes, you have birds, uh, wow. Yeah. Guys. The parakeets and the birds, yes. Yeah, 
It's amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's uh, uh, the balls falling down, going up. Uh, mm -hmm. It's really a kinetic uh, machine. Jetzt ist eine Kugel gekommen. Ja, yeah, Kinetic Machine. Very interesting. See, see now the ball, it falls down, goes up on the other side. Mm -hmm. Yes, very nice sculpture. Yeah, I, I ask about that because when it comes to this art, the kinetic art, the kinetic the time is culture. Is something that will be at your home. So it's nice if you can amaze both uh, everybody looks and, and like it. That's why I asked about that, you know, because something that for many people, if the wife likes, if the kids like, so the whole family enjoys that object of art. Absolutely. It's a bit different when it's a watch that is on your wrist only. <laughs> right. Yeah. Perhaps you can say in German to him, yeah? Uh, I was excited. I find it schön, because it's something that the whole family gefällt. Not only like an ur that on the hand is, that only the owner doesn't have, but it's a little bit more than that. It's family tauglich. It's something that everyone makes fun of the child. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so is this meistens, yeah. Yeah, he agrees fully. Also, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah. And Cesar, I remember you had some question about the ACHI. Yeah, as you remember from the, the academy. And then I remember I visited the, the booth of AHCI in Baselwood. And I took pictures of the Bologna Yachty, but unfortunately you could not meet that time. But I think it's very interesting. I really love the work that uh, AHCI do promoting the independent creators from not only from Switzerland, but from many countries, Japan, China, Bosnia, and... Uh... So you've been there about two years ago, when you saw it, or three years ago? I don't remember exactly. For, Few years ago. Mm-hmm. Well, I in Basel and had a stück gesehen. He had not been able to meet him because he was in Basel, but he had a stück there to see. Ah, yeah. And he had fun with him. And you loved it? You liked it? Pardon? You liked the piece when you saw it? Very much, very much. Just, oh, thank yeah, you, sir. Very, very much. In the it's case of, yes, in the case of this piece, special piece, this uh, Bologna Yocte, was it a suggestion from a client, maybe a Mexican client, was or it was something that uh, came to your mind and you decided to do something inspired by the Mayan culture? Haben Sie das äh, auf einem Kundenwunsch hergestellt oder ist es einfach, weil er äh, etwas umsetzen äh, für diese Kultur? Nein, es war ja einfach mal Auseinandersetzung mit Weltuntergang. Es also hat ja geheißen, äh, am 21.12. im 12. Äh, ist ja Weltuntergang gewesen, das wissen wir ja, oder? Ja. Und das Aber war eigentlich das war Thema. Aber nicht von einem bestimmten Kunden, sondern von euch Nein. selber. Nein, das war, das war meine, so meine Spielerei. Okay, no, it was not for a specific customer. It was uh, at that point of time when everybody was talking about the end of the world uh, based on the, on the, on the culture. Yeah. Uh, he just thought it's an interesting subject. So he wanted to translate it somehow in a piece of art. So it was not for a specific customer. But it's funny because I got last, like three days ago, a mail from a gentleman from Mexico who actually uh, talks about pieces in general is an architect, and maybe we we will sell it uh, in a few days. We don't know. It all depends uh, what the people do. So this piece was not sold yet. No, this piece is not sold yet. And also, there's maybe an interesting element that whenever Mickey sells a piece to 
Mexico to Brazil to Colombia, whatever, he will take it himself, bring it to the customer, install it properly, because uh, you know sometimes uh, transport and everything, and it's his quest of being the best possible quality that he comes himself and makes sure that it's properly installed. Ich habe mir gerade erklärt, dass sie es ihm ins Auto bringen, oder? Ja, aber erzählen Sie ihm, der im Fall von Bologna Jochte, da muss sie nicht hinfliegen. Ich lasse es einfach nach, nach Miami fliegen. Also, what he says in, in that piece we're talking about, as it is a flying uh, object, he asks the people to fly himself. You know, the little uh, green man, the green yeah. moss man, he goes in the ship and <laughs> flies with that. <laughs> Okay. And of course, he has something uh, orologically very interesting that, that uh, turbion, gravity turbion, that's something unique, really unique in terms of orology, yeah. not only. A, which one you're talking about now? Which, more, which one? There's Bologna Yachty with this turbion gravity. Oh, yes. Das ist ein Gravitationsturbion, uh, sozusagen, der treibt sich selbst. Es ist fast wie ein Perpetuum mobile. Es treibt sich selbst mit eigenem Gewicht an. So it's almost, uh, what he says, it's almost a Perpetuum mobile in the sense that the weight itself pushes the uh, tourbillon, so it's a gravity tourbillon. So it's uh, very close to Perpetuum, but clearly it's not, otherwise it would be world. Der Turbion, hat, der Turbion hat diese Stellung und es fällt ja immer wieder hinunter. Das ist ja Antrieb und da kommt es wieder hinauf. So, und der Turbion kann sie natürlich drehen, aber das ist der Antriebskraft, eigenes Gewicht. Also, the, the strength, the power itself is from the fact that it falls down every time, so it's by gravity, genau. by the weight, which comes always down and then goes up again and down. Uh, may I ask you uh, how much is um, this like that? Uh, what's for the price for this? 200. 200? Yeah. The suggested price is 200,000 Swiss. 200,000 Swiss francs. Yes. Yeah. So in uh, US dollar, that's about 220, uh, something like that. Okay. Also in the yeah. price, yeah. <laughs> And uh, I saw also that he has done some pieces with uh, with uh, uh, musical movements also, like sonneries and things like that, right? Er sagt, dass er auch Stücke haben, wo die Musik spielen mit Klingel und so weiter. Ja, also das ist meine meine eigene Neigung, die Dinge nicht wiederholen. Suche ich ja eben die Sache, die sich halt selten oder in einer langen Periode wiederholen. So habe ich meine eigenen Systeme entdeckt, wo zum Beispiel ein Musikwerk in der Uhr spielt jede Stunde für 20 Sekunden lang über ein paar hundert Jahre immer eine andere Tonfolge. Okay, so yes, the, yes, it is absolutely with music, but he hardly uses something which is simply a repetition. So he has developed one piece, for example, which plays every hour for 20 seconds, but for, uh, no, I forgot, I think 20 or 50 years, it never will play the same melody. It's yeah. always a different yeah. rhythm. It's it's like in, it changes always the, how many, uh, wie viele Jahre war das? Oh, das kann man berechnen, also ein paar hundert Jahre, ein paar hundert Jahre. Oh, he says it's a few hundred years. So, yeah, uh, two, three hundred years or more. Wow. Or many. Wow, wow. It's um, mathematic pure. Okay, yes, yes. And is there an example of any of these uh, musical movements in his workshop now that he could share with us? Haben wir Eis für den jetzigen im Latte? Also im Mathe nie Eis? Nein. 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 Das Kinetische, was wir auch gesehen haben, ist das nicht? Äh, 
Nein, es sind bei Kunden eigentlich. Alles ist bei Kunden. Okay. Now they, uh, they are at customers. They ah, okay. those are pieces being sold. Nein, hier ist nichts. Uh, ich weiß, hier ist nichts. Hier ist nichts. Ja, yeah. we, we can't really show one. Maybe we'll find a video from one, but mm -hmm. physically right now on the shop, no. And the thing is also because he doesn't have so many pieces uh, finished, because at the end when he creates a piece, the main purpose is to sell it eventually. Uh, it is very interesting to her. It's very interesting to her every, every hour uh, on under music is very very uh beautiful it's beautiful yes yeah yeah sure yeah yeah, yeah. Weil es wiederholt sich ja nichts und sie sind ja eigentlich immer ein Ohr. was kommt als nächste und diese spielereien übergänge von einer stunde zu andere das ist ganz spannend und ich habe nur fünf töne uh, pentatonic heißt das ich habe fünf grundtöne und die spielen jahrhunderte andere Melodien, das ist spannend. Und ich bin also, der Einzige, der das macht. Also, he plays with only five notes, pentanotes, with five notes, and the, but there's the sequence and the, the links and everything is always different. So, every year, every hour, you hear once more the sound, but you never know what is it going to play now. You know, in my, in my times mm -hmm. with Rouge, there was always the same melody. You have one given yeah. melody, and for the next 200 years, you will always hear the same. Here, oh, yes. it's totally, totally different. Here, you can actually have the exciting moment that always you have something different. Was wichtig zu sagen ist, Herr Kuppler, uh, diese Musik ist keine aggressive Sache. Schon uh, man hört es. Mm -hmm. Es ist sehr uh, fein und uh, angenehm zu hören. Right. What, what is underlining very important is that the, this melody he plays is not a aggressive or intrusive melody. It's like a, a soft uh, background melody, yeah. which is comfortable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see. Well, yeah. yeah. If you have the, uh, the video with that, then uh, you can show to us. We can I don't follow know. it. I don't know. Sure. No, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, we will check. I will check. <laughs> I will check. Yes, thank you. Okay, thank you, thank you. And uh, you, uh, Kurt said that you were working on a new piece that will be uh, launched in a week. Is that uh, what uh, going to happen? New, a new piece coming out, a new uh, work. Yes, actually, the first time now. Uh, what we are doing is we actually do a official like press release information with embargo mm -hmm. because otherwise you you burn the novelty somehow. So what we do, I'm I'm in preparation now for this unique piece. It's the first time that somebody created something like this because just to give you a little teaser, in in the past, you know Galileo Galilei, the the concept very beginning was that everything turns around the earth. That was the ancient belief. Then the next belief was what we still believe today is that the sun is the center of everything. So now the piece which uh, will be shown in a week or two is something which integrates both beliefs. And mm -hmm. nobody ever did that so far. It, it's extremely complicated to create that. And so we are in preparation now for a text a video, pictures, so we have everything like like you are supposed to have it. And we will ask you to respect the, the Margot date so that every time, every person will show it at the same moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, right. Okay. Yeah. It look, looks interesting and it sounds very interesting. Yes, for sure. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll be looking forward to that. And Cesar, do you have any other questions? Uh, for me, it's okay. I'd like to thank him for his, for his time, and uh, it was a pleasure to meet him, even if it was virtually. Thank you. I hope we can, yeah. uh, we can meet in uh, maybe in Switzerland in coming years, maybe during our universe, <laughs> the ex-Basel world, maybe. and uh, congratulations for the amazing work. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the Levens in Wallen in the Schweiz sind. Also, also once you are allowed to come to Switzerland, which yeah, God knows yeah. uh, when that is, yeah. it will be a pleasure for him to welcome you, obviously. In the really? meantime, we, we will have to work with Zoom, which uh, replaces a little bit only. But then again, I think what I think as a, as a closing statement, somehow it's important to see that uh, Micheletta is a person or a, a genius somehow, which is not yet very well known. So it's a novelty to the readers. It's a novelty on e-commerce uh, in the sense that if you want to put it on an e-journal, because you have things which are moving, which is extremely interesting. You know how it is in the watches. A watch only is mm -hmm. very often a picture. Nikki Alita's creations are a movie. So it's a, yeah. whole, it's a whole different dimension. See, if, if you see those pieces, it's, uh, you see them three-dimensional. And he's preparing now very professional movies, short sequences, so we can show it. And also, uh, the last point, really, that rather than only creating what some uh, uh, CRM manager decided or some uh, brand manager, it's the artist creating mm -hmm. what he feels like. So it's much more a piece of Picasso than a piece of Rolex. Yeah, I uh, see. A, a piece of Rolex is mm -hmm. because of a study. A piece of Picasso mm -hmm. is because of a heart, of a feeling, of a understanding between the situation, the artist, and the client. Mm -hmm. Also, you haben yes. Sie noch ein letztes Wort vielleicht, Herr Eleta? Um, uh, thank you very much for uh, your time. Uh, it was uh, very interesting for me. Uh, and uh, uh, es war ein Vergnügen, die kennenzulernen. It was, uh, Moment mal, ein Vergnügen, wie heißt das? Uh, it was uh, special uh, to meet to you. Mm -hmm. okay. And to, on this, uh, until next time. Yes. Next time, yeah. and then this will make the Yeah, I hope yeah. very soon. <laughs> okay. So I think wow. will say, I will send it in a week. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. Thank you. Congratulations thank you. for the fantastic thank work. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Very thank much. you, everybody. Thank, thank you. you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Bye. -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Bye.